Joe. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you already know that I have passed the board exam. So I am officially a registered nutritionist dietitian here in the Philippines. What's the difference between a nutritionist? What's the difference between Hmm. What's the difference between a nutritionist and a dietitian? Here. So there you go, hashtag educated. Well, so today I'm gonna film a little what a dietitian eats in a day. You already know a lot of my what I eats in a day. What I eats in a day? I've had a lot of what I eat in a days, but now I am officially a registered nutritionist dietitian. I'm gonna take you through my meals. Before that, I'm heading to the gym, so. So I'm done with the workout. I did upper body and hip, and then I got home and freshened up and all of that. It's important to have a good post-workout meal. It isn't as important if you've eaten before you worked out. If you want to know more about pre and post-workout nutrition, then let me know in the comments below so I will make a video. So for breakfast, I will be having some pancakes. Click here if you want to see the recipe. I whipped up this batter overnight. Definitely a trick you can do if you are busy in the morning, want pancakes for breakfast. If you are making the batter the night before, all you have to do is add a little bit of water. It got really thick overnight, you know. By the way, this is not green because I left it overnight. I put some malungay powder. I whipped up a little bit of a peanut butter syrup. This PB Fit Peanut Butter Powder. One, it has less fat which means it has less calories so I can have more and I love peanut butter so much. So we'll get our protein from nuts and seeds for this meal. And time to stack the pancake, hot, hot, hot. So what I'm gonna put on the pancake today is gonna be some mango, some frozen berries, the peanut butter syrup that I made, and I'm also gonna add in some good peanut butter from Seven Grains because this is my favorite peanut butter ever and I just love the taste. Major casualty, major casualty. So I'm gonna transfer this to a bigger plate because the pancakes look better. This is a real plate. Instagram versus reality, people. So let's assess this meal, shall we? Well, we have our grains from the oats in the pancake. We have our fruit, and then our protein and fat source from the peanut butter and the peanut source. Ah, yum! Another way to change up this meal to keep it balanced is to add maybe an omelet with your greens instead of adding the malungay powder. Whether it be a regular omelet or a tofu scramble, up to you, keeping the meal balanced. It's about 2 p.m. already, so I'm gonna make lunch. I eat a little bit later because I start eating later, and it's not because I'm like intermittent fasting or anything. It's just I don't feel hungry until after I work out. I usually end my workout about 9. So the next time I get hungry is about 1 or 2, so it's 2 o'clock and I'm gonna make lunch. I will be having a green pea sandwich and some kamote fries. This is the third day that I'm having this because we have loaf bread, so I'm making use of it. It's a whole grain bread from French Breaker. Bonding! Uh-uh! Bonding! Trivia about me is I don't like eating sandwiches. If the bread is not like square or squarish shape, asymmetrical like a sardo loaf, I'd rather use that for toast. I just don't like eating sandwiches that are like rectangular or square. I'm sorry. Burgers are different, obviously. My tummy is grumbling. So I've got one kamate here. I'm gonna chop it up into fries and then I'm gonna boil it a bit and then toss it into the air fryer so it gets nice and crispy. You can bake it. It's just faster and crunchier when you do the air fryer. I'm gonna have some green peas. These are just frozen so they're faster because legumes take a long time to cook. So it's time to build the sandwich. Mashed peas which I put through the blender so it's faster. I'm also gonna use some alfalfa sprouts, a little bit of grated carrot, and some tomato. Eggless mayo! I'm gonna put some of the eggless mayo into the mashed peas. And I'm gonna put some grated carrots. This is just a little bit left. The alfalfa sprouts. Then I'm gonna put some tomato. Only one, so it's one mayo. One may one. I'm gonna put the hummus the fries beside it, and I'm gonna eat it. So this is lunch. Looks so good. Let's evaluate my meal. For a balanced meal, you usually got your carb source, your protein source, a bunch of vegetables for your micronutrients, and a little bit of fat. Carb source, check. You got the bread, and you got the kamate. A little bit of fat from our eggless mayo, and a bunch of vegetables over here from your alfalfa sprouts, your tomato, it's a fruit, and then some carrot. Is there any protein in that, Joe? Yes, there is, because the peas are our protein source. There are a lot of plant-based sources of protein. Something that you just have to consider if you're gonna be eating a plant-based source is protein complementation. And this is how it goes. Wow, protein, you look so good. 
Okay, I'm kidding. So protein is made up of amino acids. So your amino acids are like a factory line. So in a plant-based protein, one of those factory workers are working a bit slower or lacking. So that's kind of how it goes. So what you want to do is take two sources of plant-based proteins so that they complement each other and make a complete protein. Usually you'll complement a legume, like your peas here, with a grain, which you can see in the bread. Not gonna let this go to waste. I'm gonna have this as a dip. So about 3.30 and I want to have a cookie. I'm gonna have a cookie because I want to. Not as a reward for anything that I did or a cheap treat for my diet. Diet culture has ruined things for us like rice, sweets, and all of that because they're telling us to label it as bad food. Bad food, good food, or junk food and clean food. And when we label foods like this, the moment that we have a bite of a cookie that we've labeled as bad, we feel guilty and ashamed of eating food that's supposed to fuel us. And this causes a binge and restrict cycle that you just don't want to get into. And there is no point in feeling guilty about food because food is fuel. Whatever food that is, it has something to offer. Yes, some foods offer more nutrients than others. There is no bad food, there's no good food. They're just food that will fuel us with energy to work and live our day. The more that you try to control food, the more that it will control you. Instead of thinking of what you should get rid of in your diet, try to think of what you should add what you should be putting into your diet. More fruits and vegetables, more whole grains, more whole foods. You can have the cookie if you want to have the cookie. Just look at how much you're eating. Everything in moderation. Don't restrict yourself because that's just gonna create an unhealthy relationship with food. So eat the cookie, y'all. So! So I'm gonna talk in this voice that I don't normally talk in. Anyways, it's time for dinner and I'm gonna have some pasta. I'm gonna make a little bit of a zucchini white sauce Then I'm gonna mix in some red sauce as well. I like to use this buckwheat noodles for no other reason than it is my preference I use one and a half of these because when I use two I get really full and then I don't have space for dessert If I only use one I get bitten. For the sauce, you've got super simple ingredients I air fried this ha onion and some garlic and then I have this calamansi puree from seven grains which is just fun if you're too lazy to like squeeze calamansi or you don't have any i'm gonna add some cashews and then some salt usually dairy free like alfredo has a lot of cashews so what i'm doing is kind of using this zucchini as a little bit of a filler so you get the flavor and the creaminess from the cashews you don't have to use as many calories and as much fat as you would if you had used so i'm just gonna saute up this zucchini so it's a little bit of softer and gives a little bit more flavor once I put it in the blender. Put all of the ingredients into the blender, blend it up until it becomes nice and saucy, and then you're good. If you're not using a high-powered blender like the Vitamix, then you should definitely soak your cashews about eight to 12 hours before. I air fried my onion and my garlic, but you can saute it with the zucchini if you don't have an air fryer. Since I'm a true chef, I don't measure stuff. <laughs> Kidding, I really don't measure stuff though. Blend, taste, blend, taste. Almost forgot, you can add some nutritional yeast for more of a cheesy flavor. So let's assess dinner, carbs with the pasta, a lot of veggies in here, fats from the cashews, and then your protein source was from the tempeh, and then I added a little bit of mushroom adobo flakes on top. So this is gonna be a really good dinner and I would say more, but I really wanna eat it already because it was easy to make, but filming it took a long time. So I finished the meal off with a bowl of rambutans, rambutan season, my favorite fruit. So yeah, that's another one I eat in a day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I also do nutrition plans, nutrition counseling, and all of that jazz because I am now officially a registered nutritionist dietitian. If you guys are interested in working together for any of those health and nutrition goals, my email is below in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till the next one, stay safe. Oh, 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 oh,